Youngboy announced he was doing a song with King Von's ex as well to even the playing field. Von subtweeted back, but when asked about this on multiple occasions, both sides stated there was no beef. People told me you and Youngboy was beefing or something like that. Know, you said something about that. it. What happened, Von? What's going on with you, man? <laughs> they be saying that a lot. It's like we got the same issues and, and, and holes, and, and then you know how the internet will try to make it. Don't tell me I got problems over girls. No, it's the internet, gang. It's the, it's the, you know, they try to make it like that because it's the internet, you see what I'm saying? At the time, both Vaughn and Youngboy were under investigation for different cases, so it's easy to understand this response. It was clear both sides had chips on their shoulders, though. As we know, these events would eventually lead up to King Von's passing on November 6, 2020, outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta. Lil Tim, an associate to Quano Rondo, was named the man who pulled the trigger and ended Von's life. Although neither Youngboy or his camp was directly involved in his death, Quano was Youngboy's artist. Von had approached Quano that night about comments he made toward his camp when he stepped in the beef to back up NBA Youngboy months before. This, of course, was really only the beginning of a new issue that involved even more people. As we know, Vaughn was close friends with Lil Durk, and after his death, the beef was then passed on to Durk as well. Despite Lil Durk working with both the young boy and Quando Rondo in the past, he now had to stand behind Vaughn's words. These events would also create a huge divide in the industry, not only for other artists, but fans as well. People of course felt like they needed to pick a side. A lot of other artists didn't want to collab with Youngboy after this, because then they would be cutting ties with Lil Durk, so many chose to just not work with him anymore. In an interview with DJ Academics, 21 Savage explained this well. You got him and um, Quando, and a lot of niggas fuck with Dirk. So a lot of niggas ain't gonna fuck with Youngboy shit because they fuck with Dirk. You don't really gotta pick sides, but it's like some niggas, I don't know. You gotta have, you gotta be a certain type of artist to be able to just be in the middle. I feel like. <laughs> This made NBA Youngboy feel blackballed from the industry, and he started to only work with those very close to him. From this moment on, there's been tension building on both Lil Durk and Youngboy's side. Many believe Lil Durk took shots at Youngboy in his verse on the song Still Running with Meek Mill and Lil Baby. But Youngboy would then spend some time behind bars, and he never publicly responded to anything that was going on at the time. Fans of course instigated the issues though, questioning Durk when he was going to get revenge for Vaughn. This would go on until present day. It's unclear what made Youngboy finally decide to speak on the situation almost a year later, but the lyrics from Bring the Hook speak for themselves.